Hi, I'm Eva Murphy from Electronic Engineering at IT Sligo, and this is my Leave Insert Maths Grinds channel. I'll regularly add new videos for both higher and ordinary level maths, so make sure you subscribe below and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Right, the 2017 question three, um, a little calculus question at the end, max min points. A, find the two values of x for which 3x squared minus 6x minus 8 is equal to 0. Give your answer correct to one decimal point, okay, or one decimal place. When I see decimal places here, I know straight away it's going to be the minus b formula, okay. It can't really be solved with factorization because there's no whole numbers. I've got decimal point numbers in here and here. OK, so when you see that, a little clue is just to go straight for the minus B formula. And the minus B formula is in your log tables. Up here on the top of page 20. OK, um, so let's whip him out. Let me take the whole lot. Okay, so page 20 in your log tables and the log tables are handed out in an exam that's why I keep talking about the log tables okay so that's that's on page 20 so this is to find the roots of a quadratic equation and this is a quadratic it's got the x squared the x and the numbers and when it's written in this order ax squared which we have plus bx plus c okay a is the number in front of x squared so in my one here a is 3 B is the number in front of X, okay, and you've got to take the sign with it. So B is minus 6, and then C is the number on its own. So again, take the sign with it. Okay, so you see there's no, um, there's no X's in it. It's just the numbers. And so we use the X squared to tell us, well, which letter is A, B, and C? Well, A is the number in front of X squared. And of course, if it's X squared on its own, then A is one, okay? If, if there's no number, then the number in front of it is, of course, one, okay? So the formula then tells us that X would be equal to minus B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus four AC, all over 2a okay so what i do is i don't even look up here anymore i just look here and i fill them in this order so it's minus b so it's minus minus six it's then plus or minus the square root i then have b squared minus 4ac so b squared and of course because it's minus it has to go in a bracket minus four, my a is three, my c is minus eight. And it's all over two a, okay? So two times three. Okay, what I tend to do next then is I'll tidy this up. So minus minus six is plus six, plus or minus. I'm gonna put all this into a calculator and tidy it up. And I do it all in one, one fell swoop, the, the square root bit. So I hit the square root sign and then I just put it in as I see it there on the screen. So bracket minus six, close my bracket squared, minus four, bracket three, bracket minus eight. Okay. And I got two root 33 for him. Okay. And I just write it down as it is. I'm not overly surprised because I know I'm going to get decimal places. It's quicker for me to write down that than it is to write down the STD if I convert it to a decimal because that's 11.489125.29. So 2 root 33 is easier. And then 2 threes are 6. Okay, so that's it tidied up. Um, when you solve a quadratic, you always get two solutions. You always get the highest power of x. So see the way that's a squared or a two. So two solutions. So one of the solutions comes from writing this equation with the plus there. And the other solution comes from writing this equation with the minus there. OK, so how you'll hear it being described is you'll split the equation then. So your first answer comes from six plus 2 root 33 
all over six, okay? And it's important that it's all over six. You have to hit the fraction button first, okay? And your next answer comes from six, not the plus this time, but the minus two root 33, all over six. Okay, so hit the fraction button first, okay? And put in the top line, six plus two root 33, all over six. I'm going to STD him there now, and I got 2.9148, so that's five. And if I go back, you don't have to enter it in, in the calculator. You can use your back arrow to bring you back and just change the plus to a minus there. STD him, and I've got minus 0.915, okay? So to one decimal place then, or to one decimal place, you look at the second one. That's a one, so it's not gonna change my answer. So he's 2.9 and he's minus 0 0.9. Okay, so there's my two answers for X using the minus B formula. So, so important, you have to be able to use the minus B formula in your leap and start end of, there's no getting away from it. The next part, find the coordinates of the minimum point of the function fx is equal to 3x squared minus 6x minus 8, okay? So I suppose because I know maths well, I know that when I, when I plot that, okay, I'm going to get either, I'm going to get a smiley face, okay? I'm going to get a smiley face because this is positive. So therefore it has a minimum point, okay? Isn't that the lowest part of the curve, okay? Doesn't have a maximum point because these two go on forever, but it does have a minimum point. So this question is saying, find the coordinates of that minimum point of the graph there using just this information, okay? So there's a couple of ways we could do it. We could plot it in theory. We could plot the curve and we could read it off your X axis and your Y axis, okay? So if I plot it, couldn't I read off that point? Um, but it doesn't want you to do that. Um, otherwise it would have told you to, to plot it. So the other way we have doing it is what's called calculus. Clean this out, okay? So in calculus, um, if you, if you differentiate it, and you let it equal to zero and solve it, it gives you the min max points, okay? Now, let me explain why that is, just, just ever, ever so briefly um, without, I suppose, bombarding you with too much theory, okay? So again, I plot my graph and there's my min point. So calculus gives you the rate of change, okay? Or slope, slope is another way of describing rate of change. So as I look at this curve, this has a negative slope, I can see it because it's going down. And I can see here that the slope is positive because it's going up. But right at this bottom where we go round the peak, right at the bottom, and it'd be the same if it was the top, right at the top, right in the center at that point, can you see the slope is actually zero, okay? It's flat. Okay, so how do we get the flat points of these curves? Well, you get its slope, which is dy dx, you let it equal to zero and you solve it. And it'll actually give you the x value for where the slope is zero. Okay, so that's what we're doing when we use calculus and we differentiate it and we let it equal to zero. So to differentiate something, Again, remember the rule we're using. It's this top one here on page 25 of the log table. Let's take down the power, reduce the power by one. Okay, so this is before you differentiate, this is after. Take down the power, whatever the power is, do you see it? And it comes in front of the X and subtract one off the power. So that's what we're gonna do here. So we're gonna find dy dx first, okay? So f of x, as you know, is y, so I can write it as that. And let's differentiate y with respect to x. 
Okay, so tick down the power, tick down the two. So leave the three there, tick down that two, reduce the power by one. So if it's X squared, take one off the power and he's X to the power of one. Okay, keep going with this term. So minus six X, we'll leave the minus six there. Differentiate X, well, X is to the power of one. So take down the one and X is to the power, subtract one off the power. So one minus one is zero. Differentiate minus eight. Minus eight is a constant. So if I get the slope of a constant, well, a constant is constant, it doesn't change, okay? So the slope of a constant is zero. So let's tidy him up now. Three twos are six, x. And here, x to the power of zero is actually one. So I have six times one times one. So that's minus six, okay? So I'm getting dy dx equals 6x minus 6. Okay, so the next thing I would write down is at max or min points, dy dx is 0. Okay, the slope is 0 at the top or the bottom of a curve. So my dy dx is 6x minus 6. Let's let that equal to 0. And let's solve. So letters to one side, numbers to the other. So I'm going to plus six to both sides or bring that minus six over and it becomes plus six. Divide by the number in front of x to force them to cancel because you want to solve for a single x. Six over six is one. Okay, so we know our x coordinate is one. Now it says find coordinates. So we have to find our y coordinate. So what you do is you sub your x, now watch this one, not into dy dx, because that's rate of change, but into the original one, because the original one is y equals. So you're saying, what is the y coordinate when x is one? Okay, so let me do that here. I'll just get rid of the graph. Okay, so to find the y coordinate, sub into the original equation. So y is equal to 3x squared minus 6x minus 8. So at x is equal to 1, y is equal to 3 times 1 squared minus 6 times 1 minus 8. So that's 3 minus 6 minus 8. 6 is 14. What's that? Minus 11. So write them down then. So the minimum point is x comma y. And that's your answer for that question. If you are interested in technology or engineering, but are not doing higher level maths, why not consider our level seven in electronic and computer engineering? This is a three year program that looks at the design and development of embedded electronic systems. These are the medical devices that keeps us healthy the consumer devices that keeps us entertained, or the controlled systems that keeps us safe on the road. You can then progress onto the level eight in electronics and self-driving technologies, and from there to the masters. Check out the link below for more information.